Hey YouTube, making a quick video on these circuit breakers you can get off of Amazon. And I'm having an issue. I was at work and my inverter was shutting down. Let me show you what's going on now. I got the power hooked up to the inverter. Look, see it just shut off? But we lost power. Why are we losing power? Then the power comes back. Okay. I mean, you see how I got my, my clamp set up? I got right to the battery negative. And all it is is the positive through the fuse over to my inverter. So, I was reading, and it's weird because you can see, look, the voltage just shut off. Those are the capacitors discharging. And it comes back. So, what <clears throat> the, only, the only thing I can figure is there must be some kind of thermal overload or something inside this breaker but it's not tripping it's not tripping well now it's tripped it won't reset something's going on with this thermal <clears throat> but i'm not i'm not over the rating of the of the fuse we'll show you we'll get it on amps here zero that thing out okay Okay, let me close it. Alright, look. 158, 157. So we're under 200 amps. By a good 40 amps. Uh, I'm assuming the issue's got to be in here. It's weird though, I didn't... Um, I was looking at the description online and I saw something about thermal. Didn't pay it too much attention, but apparently even though this thing's rated for 200 amps, it's uh, it's not capable of delivering the 200 amps. So you see the problem I'm having here. So this ain't no good when you're trying to work, get stuff done, and your, uh, your inverter keeps shutting down on you. And it's not an under voltage problem. You got to keep in mind I'm I'm pulling the full 1500 watts here. So, but anyways, I just wanted to point this out—a review of these Amazon DC resettable um, circuit breakers. And this thing ain't no good. I got to get rid of this thing. <clears throat>